So first we're going to look at a system or simulation of the system called Audi PreSense Plus and, and what it does is it utilizes all the sensors in the front uh, to, um, uh, to sense a collision and then uh, prepare the car accordingly. So as we go through the demo I'll show you what steps are being taken. Audi PreSense Plus In critical situations So we start driving and of course you see the car in front of you and this is typically when the driver is not paying attention. So the car senses in the front, it gives you that beep warning, that's the first step, then it gives you brake jolt and then the last part of course is it activates the, uh, the uh, seat belts and it uh, turns on the, the, uh, the four blinkers. Now the four blinkers in the US are not being utilized because uh, that's not something that the uh, US, US regulations allow us to do. But the rest of the system is exactly the same in the US. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go function. So here we're demonstrating the adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Um, to, to you that's probably already familiar. And what's happening here of course is you see the, see the uh, speed being set at 140 kilometers in this case because we're driving on European road in the simulator. and. Uh, you see in front of us the Q5, which means we're actually trailing the Q5 at the moment. We're sensing there's a car ahead of us, and we're trailing that car and keeping distance between us and the car. So the car is actually measuring time difference between the car in front of us and, the, and us, and that's what's uh, uh, being utilized to, uh, to keep the distance. So here we're going to speed up a little bit and pass the Q5. So here of course there's no uh, vehicles ahead of us so we can get to our desired speed at the moment. Um, and of course the car is still making sure that there's nothing ahead of us at the moment. So and the traffic in front of us is slowing down and again the system will react to it. So as the traffic slows down, so does our car. And we will actually come to a full stop. So now the stop and go functionality will be used in this sort of a stop and go traffic on the highway that you see here in the, uh, uh, in the simulation of the, of the traffic jam. And uh, here you see that the car will actually uh, continuously do stop and go without any driver uh, interaction. That's slightly different in the U.S. That's slightly modified. In the U.S., our car will actually uh, require an input in order to get, again, going into the desired speed. Now, that's very simple because all you have to do is touch the gas pedal um, and uh, push it to the, to, the, to the lowest level or touch the uh, cruise control lever um, up so that you are basically using the resume function. Both of those uh, will, uh, or you know, either of those two will uh, get the car going again. As you see here, again, we're slowing, we're slowly following the car ahead of us. Night Vision Assistant. So here you see the uh, night vision system in action and uh, uh, the demo is basically driving at night of course and your visibility with the lights is, is much much smaller than uh, with the night vision and you see that in the display you can see close to a thousand feet actually ahead of you with that with the night vision so it's much more and here is someone walking into your path now you get that warning and it's in the display as well as in the head up so that um, uh, you can you can get that warning now it's also pre-selectable in the MMI so you can pick where you want it displayed um, and then continuing throughout uh, uh, 
the village setting that we have here in Germany, uh, again you're, um, uh, you're 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 seeing the uh, the people crossing the road, something that uh, uh, you otherwise would not have seen, or in a very very limited way. So it's extending the reaction time that you have to all these things happening. Now leaving and getting more on a countryside road, for example, here you see animals. So again you see how much earlier and better you can see some of these things in your way. Audi presents rear. So in the presents rear situation it's showing you the same thing but now of course uh, from the rear so it's utilizing the uh, Audi side assist uh, sensors and you see that as the car gets going and uh, might be approaching a barrier, uh, then you will slow down, of course, as a driver because you're paying attention, but the car behind you may not. And again, it's showing you the same idea of everything that's getting ready. Uh, the seatbelt tensioners, as well as, you saw that little jerk there, uh, that was the seatbelt tensioner, as well as, of course, the, uh, the, the, the four blinkers. Again, the four blinkers is not something that we use in the US because of the regulatory uh, environment. Audi Active Lane Assist. So here in the lane, Active Lane Assist, we're showing the new system, which will also be shortly available in the U.S. Uh, and what you see here is, of course, as you're driving and trying to stay within lanes, uh, now as you come closer to the lane, you're going to start getting a little feedback from the steering wheel to get back in the lane. And the steering wheel will actually help you get back in the position. Uh, now that goes only up to a certain force level because we don't want the driver to be wrestling with, uh, with the system. It's more really used as, a, as an assistance. So as, you, as I drive here, it's giving me that little assistance to get me back in the lane. And it's far more comfortable using the electromechanical steering that we have in the A6 um, than uh, some of the competitive vehicles that are more using brake systems. Uh, we believe this is far more comfortable. and and much more user friendly if you would. And so again, as I'm approaching the road, it just gives me ever slight uh, push back into the lane, uh, into the steering wheel. But as I said, with a very light force so that if I, the driver, wanted to overpower the system, it, it would not really be a problem. Uh, and that's what you see here. And of course, I'm also getting a warning in the head-up display. So I see that I'm coming too close to the to the lane and if I'm really extending myself out then the steering wheel will even vibrate slightly. Speed limit display. So this demo is a little bit of a preview into the future. The system is currently available in Germany and we're working on that system for the US too. Uh, a system where the camera is actually able to detect uh, uh, road signs and again you start seeing how all these different sensors that are in the car can work together. What we're simulating is how it's raining and in the rain in Germany they have a different speed limit so now the car picks up the speed limit because it knows it's raining. It's utilizing the rain sensor for that of course. So it's giving you the warning inside your uh, driver information display as well as the head-up display that your uh, rain uh, uh, speed limit is actually active at that time. Now again, this is a German specific scenario that we don't have, but again, you start seeing what this technology can do for you. And um, uh, that's something that we are currently working on and uh, we'll be bringing in the future models um, also in the US. So now the rain goes away, now the system is able to pick up the uh, speed limit that is relevant to the in-dry situation, and now the car gets back to 120 kilometers an hour.